Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm at one of my favorite random parking lots because guess what? We have the return of a popular name, but things have changed since the last time we've seen it. This is a 2021 Toyota Venza. Our particular one is a limited trim, but before we get into this all new luxury crossover SUV hybrid only vehicle, let's talk about what's going on here, the Venza. For a few years, it was such a standout in Toyota's lineup, especially when you're looking at that unique overall experience from an SUV. Back again though, you're still gonna get a unique vehicle. We have hybrid only, all wheel drive because of some electric motors that are being used and an exterior wrapper that kind of blends the lines between Lexus and Toyota. Since remember, Lexus is the premium brand of Toyota. One thing is for certain, going with that great Toyota reliability, some very, very unique, interesting 21st century touches. This Venza might be that fuel sipping crossover that you've been dreaming about every time you go to bed. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this limited trim and see, is it worth the money and is this the one to buy? Right off the bat, the styling. Definitely, you could see that connection with Toyota, with Lexus, and it all starts at the front of the business with the headlight design. I love what they've done with the headlight housing, very slim, very trim, and look at how it just kind of melts perfectly into the front grille area. We're gonna have LED headlights, and I'm really digging the LED daytime running lamps, especially the way they flow into the corner of the trim here. We kind of flow down, and you'll notice how it extends out. Very, very hard body line, gives it a great look. Functional side air curtains, because remember, the great news about 2021 is that no longer does a hybrid vehicle need to look weird. It can now have some style and also cheat the air very effectively. As we come across the front grill area, it's all about cheating that air. Of course, you're gonna get that Toyota badge with the blue, which means that this is a hybrid vehicle. And like I said, hybrid only for 2021. I like this nice decorative trim that they put at the top of the grill. It's not gloss black. There's actually style underneath the clear to really give it a unique look, give it that overall Lexus look that I really think it connects with. Forward facing camera on the limited trim, a little bit of functionality. The rest has been blocked off for aerodynamic efficiency. And then as you work your way down that chrome trim looking good, more functional vent. And I, I'm glad they went flat black on this bottom portion. Now, one thing that I wish that this trim would have are some LED fog lamps in these little round openings I thought for sure that's what I would see by dropping down, but as you can see, that's definitely a blocked off opening, so that's a zonk. Now, when we get up onto the hood, very simple, clean body lines. Everything kind of just flows right towards the A-pillar. They call this the A-pillar because that is at the front of the vehicle, A, B, C. One, two, three, now you know me. That's an A-pillar. Everything else, nice and flat, super smooth. As we come around the bend, what are we working with? Wheel and tire setup on our limited. So when you go limited, you're going bling bling. You got 19 inch wheels, hand polished aluminum, multi-spoke finish, works well with our particular color of our Venza. Of course, you're gonna get fully ventilated rotors. And this is obviously, like I said, you got the internal combustion engine with some electric motors powering the front wheels. And we have an electric motor out back powering the rear wheels to give us that all wheel drive setup. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what's the size of this tire? 225 in the width and a meaty smooth riding 55 series sidewall. Let's go ahead and get down the rest of the side of this vehicle. Hybrid badge, I'm on the fence of where they placed it, but it could have been in a worse position. So I'm not gonna go too crazy on that. I love the way they kind of sculpted the side mirrors here. Color matched on top. You have your very, very small LED turn singles, some bright, shiny metal work. Makes sense on this particular vehicle because this is a limited trim. We do have the glass roof. It does not open, but there's a reason for it. And wait until we get inside. You'll really, it all makes sense, as they say. The bottom portion, flat black. I think that gives it just enough flat black. It's nothing too crazy, and it's going to cut down on the chips and the scratches and everything. Look at the body line. Look at how everything flows into this rear quarter window with the shiny bright metal work. And then we wrap it out towards the rear. They did a great job overall. You're gonna have a nice long low roof spoiler coming off that roof line with your third brake light. You know what I'm gonna say about this. I don't even need to say it. 
take this, put it underneath here. The way they did the tail lights, super slick. Now my only zonk is that I wish they would have put the turn singles in there. I'll show you where those are, not my favorite of spots, but you got your limited badge, your hybrid badge, we drop down, that's where your turn singles are located. I don't know about you, even as a driver in another vehicle, I don't like having those depths so low in the corners, but hey, that's how they designed it. It would have been nice to have it up there. What's fascinating is just like the RAV4 hybrid, you do get functional exhaust, which is kind of interesting because you would think they would embrace the hybrid and really want to showcase, hey, this is more fuel efficient, this is polluting less, let's get rid of the exhaust. But they did a nice job by putting some nice brushed aluminum finish. You got the new Venza badge, and of course that blue hybrid technology badge there. Let's go ahead, pop the hood, and meet the engine of the new Venza. All right, guys, we got the hood popped. You do have a prop rod. I am gonna zonk that on at least a limited trim. Underneath the hood though, what are we looking at power plant wise? You're looking at a naturally aspirated 2.5 liter inline four engine. It's been paired with two electric motors up front, one separate electric motor out back. That's gonna give us our all wheel drive capability in this Venza. Horsepower, 219 horsepower. It does have a CVT transmission, zero to 60, not the fastest, around 7.5 seconds. The vehicle weighs 3,900 pounds, but boy, oh boy, here is where you're gonna come home the winner. MPGs, 40 in the city, 37 on the highway. I get the hybrid technology. I think that this really helps people that want to have more of an effect when it comes to saving fuel, but they're not ready to just go with the cord and have an electric vehicle, you kind of have the best of both worlds in a way. But while we go ahead, we talked about the engine, let's get that to that interior because big things are in store for us on the limited trim. All right, guys, we're inside this 2021 Venza. So hard to track one of these down, so I'm so glad that we could bring this one to you. Now, I know you're saying, well, Joe, I was looking at some hybrid crossover SUVs, but I didn't really like the style of them. I'm digging this Venza. How much is it? MSRP for this limited trim and all the goodies, you're looking at $43,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. Love the way they broke up the colors. So you have some nice gray soft material, that milk chocolate brown with the stitching and the way that they brought some of the brown in between that gray area where the door handle is, very tasteful. And like I said, it brings a nice splash of color. The silver trim is great and that wood style design I'm digging it. It really kind of blends in nicely, but it, it shows a little bit. The actual door pocket is on the smaller side. So if you're gonna go Chipotle burrito, definitely say no to the guac and that will save you some money because guac costs extra. And even the way they did the Venza name on the speaker grill looks tasteful. Now, as we go from that speaker grill and door panel to the dash, soft touch material, we have the optional JBL sound system, soft touch in the center with the gray and the milk chocolate. And then guess what we have? All new infotainment. Standard would be eight inch. This is an over 12 inch infotainment system. It is that iPad style, which I know how some people feel about that, but the great news is at the perfect level to see it, to use it, to experience it. Nice touch screen. You wanna listen to a little bit of Genesis, Land of Confusion. We could get into our AC controls. The bad news is there's no volume knob. You do have other volume controls besides what's in the system, and you have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is really wonderful, but the system is so intuitive. Look how I brought the navigation over here, and I put the Sirius XM channel selection over there, and I brought it right back again. We could go into all our different readouts with the battery life and all that, the trip info, very intuitive, very nice, easy to use. Throw it into reverse. There's your backup camera. You do have trajectory. It's a little grainy, but the great news is look at how it takes up all the real estate. There's been expensive cars, really expensive cars that don't have that. You also have the full 360 scan. There's our Venza in our random parking lot. And you can obviously see how you could adjust the camera angles. This is perfect for when it's night and you're alone and you wanna see if anybody's hiding out anywhere. You could do a full 360 scan and then we're right back again. And what's great is you just hit home and look, there we are, that looks familiar, right? AC controls, we drop down. You do have gloss black. 
I like the way they kind of integrated the buttons into the gloss black. A little bit of silver. Here's your volume control. So no actual knob. Dual climate, which is great. The silver, that wood style trim. You do have a power on button. Kind of awkward where they put it. But the good news is I'm going to get the shifter out of the way. You do have wireless charging, two USBs and an aux jack, which is wonderful. Take the shifter, put it back in the park. This is going to control that CVT. You do have full EV mode and three different driving modes, sport, normal, and eco. Loving the chocolate brown. Two cup holders that are adjustable. You could actually have different length bottles to drop in there. Heated seats and ventilated seats. Probably one of the softest armrests. And what's great is you could slide it and then open it. You got a nice little drink party tray for your passengers. And guess what? If you have that original Energizer Bunny model that your friend gave you, you could just drop it right in here with a 12 volt. So this thing has battery power and you could keep your batteries in there. Close that up. Seats. Love the material. The stitch work is great. Very soft, very comfortable. Full electric assist for the passenger and the driver. Let's check out the glove box. Good size and look, good old Ken Barron left his Twinkies in here. He is a Winner's Circle member on Patreon for Radies Ride. So thank you, Ken, for leaving those in there. Great size, seal them up. And then probably the biggest wow feature that you could actually probably charge people to show them a magic trick is the Stargazer roof. So you got that full glass roof. It doesn't open, but the reason why is, notice how it's opaque. Voila, clear. Opaque clear. Nice technology where they're using those charged particles to make it opaque and then you hit the button and it makes it go away. You also do have, which I think is important, is a full shade. There's certain vehicles that have glass roofs. You don't get the shade. I like that extra touch. Plenty of headroom and then look at this. You do have a digital rear view mirror in the Venza. Nice technology. Super clear. Put it back on me. Why don't you come on over here behind the business end. I want to show you behind the wheel of the Venza. All right, guys, business time behind the Venza. You do have two memory seat settings. What I like is the way they have this little tiny sill panel here that's aluminum with the Venza name. Very classy. Seat controls are great, especially the lower lumbar. Ooh, that feels good right there. Steering wheel, the bummer is you get all these great changes and they give you the same Toyota steering wheel. Now, the good news is it's exactly laid out like a Corolla, like a Camry, like a RAV4. The bad news is it's laid out like those other vehicles. I would like to see something a little bit more higher end, but you do have flat black, that Toyota sensing technology, easy to activate and use. And then the dash, clear and concise. You got your power meter analog. You got that seven inch digital display that you could actually toggle through a ton of different information, which is wonderful. And then you have your analog speedometer and fuel gauge. And this one has an optional head up display, which gives you tons of information over 10 inches, and electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So nice to have those features. Let's get to the back seat and see if your passengers are gonna enjoy this new Venza. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you were, were here. I didn't know we were still filming. I was just reading up on the Venza. You know, a lot of times, owner's manuals, nobody ever opens them up. I figured I would open one up. Plus, I could show you back to the seats, that same material all the way around. Good enough for one owner's manual. That's about it. I wouldn't put another owner's manual in there because you're going to bust the seams right out of the back of that pocket. You do have probably two of the saddest looking AC vents. I wish they would have put some silver trim or something around that. But what's not sad that makes me happy is you actually have two USBs for the passengers. Boom, boom. I have the... This is a very exciting read, Navigation and Multimedia System Owner's Manual for the Venza. I have my own book. I'll look at that later, but I got my own pocket. Plenty of headroom, even with the sunshade clothes. Feels good. Armrests. What is it with these armrests? They're as hard as a rock, but the good news is you do have two cup holders to keep your you know, taste buds nice and cool or nice and hot, depending on how you feel. But why don't we go ahead Let's get to that cargo area because I want to drive this Venza. All right, guys, time to get into the cargo area of our Venza. Click the button. One, two, three. You got nice electric assist. One thing to notice is that the rear bumper is quite high. So if you're getting heavier things, you're going to have to use a little bit more muscle. But you know what? 
once you get it into the back. I love the flat floor. There's a little bit of brushed aluminum that they did, not only on the edge here, but also on the interior. You can see our big old subwoofer, thump a dump dump JBL sound system subwoofer in there. And then of course you have the security shade, which I could kind of flip up like that to let you see how much space. And if you're wondering, well, Joe, how much space is there? Basically what you're looking at is with the seats up, 28.8 cubic feet of space, fold the seats down, 55.1 cubic feet of space. And it's actually quite simple. You're just gonna lift and push. Say it with me, lift and push. And I'll flip that up, plenty of room. Go to Costco, get the world's biggest case of Twinkies and a big screen TV. That sounds like an afternoon party to me. But speaking of partying, if you're ready, I'm ready to go hyper mile. I wanna drive this until it runs out of gas. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in the Venza. All right, guys, we're in the 2021 Venza. I forgot to show you the key fob. There it is with the Venza name, spin it around. There's your buttons with the Toyota hybrid badge. I'm gonna put that right there. I do have it in sport mode and everything else is exactly as I showed you when we did the driver's side. Now, right away, what I love about this vehicle, the seats are so comfortable. As soon as you get into it, you're just like, wow, I feel really good. And that's what I like about this vehicle, especially if you're going to be going on longer trips. Guess what? You are going to want a comfortable seat. That's for sure. But while we go ahead, let's get on throttle out of the way as we're doing a slow roll here. So on throttle. So with the CVT transmission, it does hold the revs from the naturally aspirated engine. There's no simulated gears. There's no paddles on the back of the steering wheel. There is a way to shift through the simulated gears using the actual shifter itself. But other than that, it just stays pegged. Now, obviously, if you're getting onto an on-ramp or an off-ramp, you're only gonna be on throttle for so long. It's not like you're gonna do a 300 mile trip with the pedal to the floor but just something to be aware of. Like I said, the thing that Toyota does extremely well are their controls. Knowing where everything is, even if, you're, even if it's your first time in this Venza, you're gonna feel very, very comfortable. Visibility is great out the front, the side mirrors. And if you've been looking, like I said, at a RAV4 hybrid, but there's just something about the RAV4 styling that you didn't like, this takes it to a different place. It feels so different with that luxury side of things, the way they did all the touches on the interior, very well thought out for sure. All right guys, pulling away from this light, you definitely could hear the internal combustion engine, that 2.5 liter naturally aspirated inline four firing up as we went back on throttle. But let's see how the Venza drives as we're going up this uh, on-ramp here and then of course on the highway. I think one of the places where it definitely separates itself from a Lexus product is there's a, a little bit extra wind noise in this Venza compared to a Lexus product. So it's not just simply a styling thing to where it looks more like a Lexus. It needs a little bit more sound deadening or maybe some thicker glass on the side windows to kind of cut down on the noise that you're getting. But when it comes to the overall driving experience, very smooth very comfortable when it when it you're looking at hybrids the great news about hybrids is that the batteries where the battery is in this vehicle is low in the chassis so that means it helps lower the center of gravity what actually gives you a better ride overall than a standard crossover suv the same exact size and dimensions as this venza but very easy to track down the highway no matter what the traffic situations are even out the back glass, you would think with the way that it's shaped and how slanted it is, it actually is quite easy to just see what is behind you. And then, of course, what do you have? You have the digital rearview mirror there, which is nice. All right, guys, I want to do another acceleration test here from a dead stop. Nobody behind us. On throttle, here we go. Nose points towards the sky, and we are off. Obviously, you're not going to win any drag races, but... It does actually feel faster sitting behind the wheel than it does on paper. So just something to be aware of, but getting back onto the highway, 
it really does well over the expansion joints. It does well with the suspension over the ripped up pieces of road and pavement. And I think that chassis work has just been carried through, not only from the suspension points, but also the whole chassis itself. But overall, the experience in this Venza is very, very positive. Obviously, is nothing like the original version, but that's not necessarily a bad thing because like I said, having the hybrid technology to give you that fuel savings and also having that electric motor outback to give you that all wheel drive when you need it, that I think really just allows this vehicle to be popular no matter what region of the country that you're in. But we're gonna go ahead, get back to our undisclosed location and wrap this one up. Hopefully this gave you a good idea about what the Venza was all about. I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another great day with this 2021 Toyota Venza. I definitely want to thank Zach and the rest of the crew over at Toyota and Lexus for allowing Ready's Rides access to this press fleet vehicle. It really just goes to show that Toyota is making some very distinct changes to their vehicles, not only from an appearance standpoint, definitely those amenities. And of course, if you're looking for a crossover SUV and you want to get some crazy mileage out of it, this Venza might check off all the boxes definitely want to add it to your list of luxury crossover suvs but if you want to keep seeing vehicles like these on radies rides leave a comment in the comment section if you're new and you're on your way out hit that subscribe button i promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more if you are a subscriber thank you for being part of the radies rides family if you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel two ways you could do it way number one click the first link become a radies rides patreon member way number two click the second link and that's going to get you some radies rise merch got to give it up to the queen of the camera she's a hyper miler out here because you know what she's like the energizer bunny she gets these cars one after another show her some love in the comment section thank you Lori, for all your hard work and just like always guys i'll see you on the next ride